Hey folks, Peter here. Today's video, it's mail time. As you probably saw by the thumbnail, I got a few packages here. I've been saving them until they all showed up and I had time to actually sit down and do this on film. Fingerboarding stuff, it's been a while. We're gonna do some more fingerboarding today. I did try to do a video with some of the braille skateboarding, uh, like the skate anything stuff. It was like a guitar and a shoe and stuff. I might post that video. It didn't really turn out. I didn't like it. So this is uh, this is our return to fingerboarding right here. So I'm gonna open up some packages. I'm not gonna change the camera or anything for this. I'm just gonna hold it up like this, uh, so you can see it. But most importantly, so you can see my face uh, and the joy that I'm about to experience opening up some packages here. So to start things off, I actually got a package from EMA Ramps. Uh, you guys might know my green rail that I usually skate. Figured it was time to get a couple couple new ones. They had, uh, they had a special little event. This is me opening this up on the camera. Also be careful with knives and stuff. Okay, oh, more tape, hold on. There we go. First thing that's in there is a little uh, little invoice. Cool, all right, nothing to it. Well packaged, I mean, that is in there. Can you guys? All right, so this is what I got, it's in here. Start up, oh, 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 oh man. Oh, man. Oh, there's more tape. There's more tape, hold on. There's more tape again. Well, the, this isn't meant to be a review video, but uh, I will just go ahead and say, EMA Ramps, uh, these are from the website. Um, got them direct from there. And these are very well packed. Let's start with uh, let's start with this one here. Oh my gosh, there's even more tape. I don't know how much of this I'm going to edit out, but I might edit out some of it so you're not just hearing for the whole video because that would be kind of lame. So here's the first one. You guys might notice a little something about this. Um, oh yeah, let's go. <laughs> it's orange. It's an orange rail. I so. EMA Ramps has had orange rails in the past, but they've never been the size that I like. They were lower, and they had a, they had a special the other the other week weekend, however you wanna whatever it was, and it was like uh, all weekend all rails are going to be orange, and I was like, this is it's my time. So there we go. It is the flat bar, the the square flat bar. I think this is the two inch, just the two inch regular regular size there. Basically, it's the same one as my green one, just an orange. So there is that. Gosh, that looks so good. Uh, little sticker on the bottom for the logo for the company. And here is the other one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> So this is a the Round Rail XL. Again, I think this is the two inch tall variant. As you can see, these are both roughly the same height, maybe, you know, just like a millimeter or two off, but uh, round rail, a little bit thinner rail. It's actually a little bit lighter than, than this one. And I think that's just the, cause it's, it's, it's a smaller, the rail is a little bit thinner. I've wanted a round rail for a while and orange. So here we go. Orange round rail, got one. A Little bit longer. Maybe I can do some combo stuff. And again, with the round, um, I might be able to kind of roll stuff around on that, but just some different options. And again, now I can actually do a couple lines possibly, or just, you know, like some Tony Hawk combo on the rail going on there. Uh, plus a round rail, there's another fun trick that I used to do, um, where you do like, you, you do like a board slide and then like wrap the truck around. It's, it's, it's pretty fun. Maybe I can do that on this if I set it on something. But yeah, so a couple rails, EMA ramps. They had a special for orange ones. Uh, I don't know if you're watching this, EMA ramps, whoever you may be, but thanks. Give me, give me more orange ramps <laughs> or rails. Sorry. Uh, package number two. Oh, uh, little little guy here. Little bubble mailer. Oh, 
Can you guys read that? Can you guys read that? Cartwheels. Thank you for supporting Cartwheels. These wheels are unique, high quality, and made to handle all surfaces. If you have any questions, then get in touch via Instagram at cartwheelsfb or drop an email to cartwheelsfb at gmail.com. Enjoy Simon at Cartwheels. Cool. What is this? What's going on here? Cartwheels Pro Cuts. I, is this stickers? I've never bought brand new Cartwheels before. The only set that I have, those white and blues that I love to death. Um, I bought those secondhand from somebody else. So I've never actually ordered from Cartwheels. So this is, this is kind of interesting. I do want to see what's going on in here. A little folded piece of paper stapled there. Oh, what? <laughs> uh, it's a couple sheets of grip. I immediately, well, I don't know what this is. Uh, or is that the name of the grip tape? The Pro Cuts? Cartwheels Pro Cuts? Is that the name of the grip tape? What the heck? My gosh, you could stop a car with this stuff. It's so grippy. Did not realize I was gonna get some, some uh, foam grip. That's always nice to get. Cool. All right, so some foam grip. There is more in here though. Look at this little box right here. Oh my, what is this? Is this a slider box? Is this a little storage case? This is sick. Oh my gosh, all right. Found the stickers, these are uh, like the double, peel the back off, rub it on, peel the front off. Kind of vinyl cut stickers or whatever you want to call them. That is slick. Couple of those, couple more of those. <laughs> uh, and then I think this is another sticker. Sorry I keep doing this and just showing you guys a black screen there. Um, here, maybe this will help if I move this light over a little bit. Oh my gosh. All right. Uh, oh no, this is another card right here. This is another card right here. Um, thank you for purchasing a set of cartwheels. Your wheels should take around an hour to bed in and reach maximum smoothness. Please don't try and remove the cores for any reason as you'll break the wheels and nobody wants that. Enjoy. Cool, so a little kind of warning, um, basically, Hey, if you mess them up, it's your fault. There's a warning there. And I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see these. Um, you know. Oh, I just dropped everything. <laughs> I got not one, but two sets of uh, the orange cores right there. Orange, these are limited Halloween edition. Uh, yellow core, orange outside. It's really hard for me to show with this camera right now what these look like so if you guys would give me a second i'm just gonna keep talking but uh you're gonna see some you're gonna see a close-up shot here so let me get these kind of just chilling in this pack here and then uh, i'll show you the the thing okay so as you guys can see there nice bright orange wheels there with the yellow cores um, they're a little bit smaller. I actually have one sitting by here. So they're a little bit smaller than the white wheels that I'm used to, but I think that's gonna be okay. Sorry for the shaky camera and stuff. I'm literally just holding this and trying to look past the lens. So they are a little bit smaller than the white wheel there. I guess I don't know exactly what size these are or what size those are, but this was the only option for these, I think. I can't really remember. Uh, either way, I really like them and I'm excited to try them out. Back to the regular camera. All right, so that was a fun little uh, journey that we took there. <laughs> yeah, orange wheels, they definitely look kind of textured and stuff, but I guess it's just the nature of how that they're, they're made and everything. And I have seen in pictures before kind of that, they almost look gritty on the outside, but you know, like I've got, I've got that white set there that I've used forever and they, they break in real well. So we'll see how that works. Excited to try those out. Neat little box there, I really enjoy that. Um, it's just a little paper box, but it is a nice little slide tray that we can kind of, you know, if I want to store some wheels in in the future, I've got that. So wheels, some free grip that I didn't know I was getting, orange rails, we got one more package left guys, right here. First thing I want to point out is it has a little smiley face sticker. I, when I pulled this out of the mailbox, I saw this side. I didn't see the side of my address or who sent it. And I saw this little smiley face sticker and was like, oh, I think I got it. <laughs> 
Not because this person is synonymous with smiley face stickers or anything, but I was just like, oh, they just slapped something on the outside of the package. There's another one here too. This is the one I'm super excited about. I'm excited about all this stuff, but this is the one that I'm very, very, very excited about. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, I will say as I'm opening this, this is not something I bought from a shop. This is from another person that uh, is in the community, in the fingerboarding community, and uh, I'm keeping it under wraps so I can pull this out. I haven't looked inside yet. Um, I bought some stuff from this person, and then I just sent them, you know, I was like, here, like, here's some money, send me some stuff. So I don't even fully know what's in this package. Um, I feel some bags. So we're gonna pull this, oh my gosh. I'm already. <laughs> So, I will show you guys this side first, so you can see it before me. Um, and then I'll show you this side so I can see it. Whoa! Oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna have to get a close up of this in a bit here. So this, if you couldn't read, uh, this is an idle fingerboard. Ben's been working on a new shape here. This is like a low, he called it low, uh, instead of the paws or the claws that I have had in the past this is um, a new shape and this is actually my first graphic from from ben i've got the uh the blank a blank idol and then the the idol world ink which i love it's still my favorite deck to this day um but we're trying one out here and he's got it packaged up with like a a super wide sheet of grip there uh i believe this board is a 34 i forget what i even ordered from him <laughs> Uh, and then there's some stickers in here, so let's get this open. Ooh, classic. Love it, love it, love it. This is me touching the board. All right, that's sick. I love that. Is that, is that engraved in there? Is that burnt in there? I don't know what that is on the top, but oh my gosh. I don't even know if I want to skate this. This feels so good. There is a heart stamped on the top too. I, I won't be able to show that maybe when I get the close-ups. Wow, oh my gosh. I dig that. And then idle stickers here. There's, I believe those are idle stickers, I don't know. It's got a cat in Japanese writing. Um, <laughs> he's just chucked a bunch of stickers in here. Little rainbow cloud there. Uh, smiley face, a little idle vinyl. Super sick, excuse me. Smile the face, another idle vinyl. Rainbow, and another, an orange. Hey, that's actually very important. I don't know if he did this on purpose or not, but there is a little orange smiley face. So Ben, thank you. Uh, oh, you thought we were done? Uh, nope, we're gonna grab out. Oh, okay, we're gonna grab out this one here. Ba -ba -da -da. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, uh, I am enamored. I am straight up enamored right here. This is an idol 32.5, possibly. I forget, I'm blanking hard. This one's got the flower, kind of like a spray paint graffiti style of art there. Super love this graphic, by the way. I'm just gonna grab this one out right away, right off the bat. So this is the classic claws that I really like. So this is actually um, a blemish deck. There's like, and it's literally just like one tiny, teeny little spot that I'm probably never going to care about. <laughs> Sample idol on the top there. Gosh, this thing feels so good. I really like that. I have no idea how well these graphics hold up. I've never skated an idle graphic deck. Like I said before, I've just had like the, the wax and the, and the plane. So that is going to be fun. If it wears off, cool. If it holds up really well, cool. So two, Idle graphics, idle graphic deck so far. Super, super, super sick. Gosh, I almost don't want to use that, but I think I, I do. Like it, oh my gosh. I think I have to, I think I have to. Again, similar deal going on in here. Sheet of grip, heck yeah. Uh, Japan cat, third eye stickers. Couple sheets of grip, two decks. Oh, we're not done. Oh, what? Okay, what? <laughs> so I also did order some grip. So I got some, some new grip. 
so I'm all stocked up. And then there's buttons in here. I didn't, Ben, I didn't know you had buttons. I'm out of the loop. I'm out of the loop, man. Let's see what's going on in here. Two idle buttons. Oh, that I'm dropping everywhere with the, I'm sorry, I'm doing it again with the cat. They both have the cat on them, as you guys can see, cats. And some grip, so let's check out this grip here real quick. Okay, we got the Slim Reaper. Gosh, I love this stuff, the, the super thin. You guys see that? Super thin stuff. I really love this stuff. It breaks in really well, and I, it's, it's the best. And then I got some clean sheets. Uh, I don't think I've ever actually used clean sheets before, so this will, this is a new one for me. Right off the bat, this feels like it's nice and dense. It feels really good. It feels smooth. Like it almost feels like a clay kind of feeling, if that makes sense. Like clay paper. I don't know if you guys have ever felt clay paper, but that's what that feels like. To me, that's going to be super good. So we got some options. I got some fresh grip. I got some decks. I got some new rails. I got some new wheels. Let's get the cam. I'm going to move the camera around here. Like I said, I want to get a nice close up of these decks so you guys can see and we can go over all the stuff again. I got to set one of these up too. I got to set up a board. I'm not going to show setting it up, but I, I will set up a board for this video just to kind of show you guys what one of these looks like. I think I'm gonna use this one here. Get it set up, new everything. I have some placeholder trucks right now because I didn't get new ones shaped up. Uh, as you guys know, I like to ride the tech deck trucks, shape them, invert the kingpin myself, all that, and so on. Um, favorite truck, personally. Anyway, moving the camera. We get some close-ups of these products and that will be it for this video. So give me just a moment while I move things around. All right, so kind of an interesting camera angle here, but we're gonna make it work. Uh, so once again, here is the Cartwheels Pro Cuts. Again, I didn't even know that they were making grip. I thought they were just doing the wheels. Uh, so we had some of that. We got the rails, as you guys can see here, uh, kind of hanging out. I don't really need to do close-ups of those. The welds on them look good and everything. They look really clean. They don't look all snotty or globby or anything. Cartwheels here, once again, the Halloween 2020 cores. We get a nice little close up here real quick. As you can see, super good. I'm very excited to try these out, break them in. I bought two sets. Uh, am I kicking myself for buying two sets? I think I'm kicking myself for not buying more of these. But again, I think I'm gonna use one and one's just gonna stay as is, kind of as a backup or, if, you know, I get in a pickle and I need to sell them for some money or something. <laughs> really liking those wheels, orange with the yellow cores. Super good stuff. Uh, and all the stickers that came with that, good stuff. Then up next, last but not least, we had the Idle Fingerboards package that I bought from Ben. Let me just kind of just start chucking everything here. Again, if you, so, so here's the, uh, the Pro Cuts from Cartwheels. Good stuff there. And then here's uh, what I did order from Ben was the Slim Reaper. I don't know if I'm gonna get that to focus properly or not. So I got the camera focused. Uh, here's the Pro Cuts. I mean, this is like stiff, really grippy. That's some quality stuff right there. Here is the Slim Reaper. Like I said, it is so thin. So if you want board feel, I guess if you wanna say that, this is the stuff for you. Real easy to put on a board too, obviously being that thin. I mean, gripping with this stuff is a dream. So I got a whole slew of those there. Then I got the clean sheets from Northwoods Fingerboards. Uh, I've never actually messed with this company before. I don't, I don't know anything about them. Uh, that's just me being out of the loop. Uh, nothing against the company, just not a company I'm familiar with personally. It's gonna be your, kind of your classic fit grip there and it feels super dense like it almost feels like this is rubber and not, you know, like the foam, foamy foam goodness. I'll definitely have to try this out on a deck. At some point, it feels super good. So we got those, and then we got the the decks. The main thing that we are here for, the decks. So again, like I was saying, uh, this one, I did buy it knowing it was a blemish or a blem deck or whatever you want to call it. Like I said, there's just this little teeny spot right down here. Uh, I mean, there's like a couple dots on here. I think that might just be like, I don't know. I don't know what that is, um, but it's under the truck plates. I'm never gonna see it, whatever. It feels nice. 
Again, like I said, all I've had before from Idol was the like the waxed, um, you know, just the basic deck, and then just the the plain wood. So this is my first Idol graphic deck that I'll be setting up. And then look at this beauty. These uh, these are some new shapes that he's trying out. Um, again, look on the top there. I don't know if this is wood burned or etched or engraved or how he did that, but that's super sick. And then right here, there's just this tiny little heart stamped in it. <laughs> I love the graphic. 34 millimeters. Uh, I still haven't fully committed to 34 millimeter decks, but I do enjoy this. I do think I have some 34 millimeter trucks still. Shape, again, new shape, low, very minimal concave, but you can actually, it is there, it is there. Uh, that is, that's good. I like that graphic. I'm a big fan of that. Uh, and then with those came extra stickers, little bonus stickers. Uh, and I think this is the, the new black grip, so it's a little bit thicker than the Slim Reaper. Good stuff. Classic. Know it's going to work. Again, we've got the orange stickers in there, the, some rainbows and... Um, there are some idle stickers in there too. Uh, we got those like the B, like I was talking about, you can't really see it, but there's a B one in there. I don't really use those, but maybe I'll start putting them on stuff. That's that. Uh, that's kind of the haul there, as you guys can see. Few items, long video, I know. Um, like I said, I'm not going to do the fingerboarding in this video, but I do want to get this deck set up and just kind of show you what that looks like and just kind of a first impression. The link to the fingerboarding that I do with, with this will be down below, so make sure to check that out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get this one set up. This, for now, I'm just gonna look at and stare at. That's just, that's just a pretty deck right there. <laughs> so I'm gonna get this one set up, show you guys kind of uh, some first impressions, what it looks like, and we'll go from there. That'll be the video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in a second. All right, so that is the board all set up. As you guys can see there, nice and clean. Uh, this is the Slim Raper Grip, and again, it's so easy to just install that. I almost actually gripped it just using my fingernail. Uh, I do have my file, classic file that I use there. And then check this out. Look at that. Can you guys just look at that? Again, I, I didn't realize that these wheels are going to be this small uh, but they do work really well kind of a, a contrast for me with the the white and then the the orange wheels I dig it it did do the first kickflip placeholder trucks I'm gonna shape up some new ones and get this thing all nice and shiny and new everything but I dig it I really like that uh, again if you want to see this board in action go ahead and check down in the description I will link to the actual video with the fingerboarding in it this video has gone on long enough and I would just like the fingerboarding to stand on its own. Uh, but this is kind of just a mail call day. And yeah, I think I, I think I got some pretty fun stuff there. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video. Again, thank you for sticking around to the end. I really do appreciate you. Hopefully you did enjoy watching the joy on my face as I open up some new fingerboarding mail that I got in today. Super excited to see how this graphic breaks in, uh, the, the idle flower graphic there. Excited to see how these wheels break in uh, my first set of new cartwheels again so thank you simon for sending me those thank you ben for sending me the 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 decks of course i paid for all this so i don't know why i'm thanking you but thank you for making wonderful products nonetheless and of course ema ramps for these fantastic orange rails i'm really excited to use this stuff and again link down below to the actual fingerboarding video so make sure to check that out like, comment, subscribe, you guys know the deal. If there's certain fingerboard products that you want me to check out, uh, let me know and maybe I'll pick it up. Of course, always looking for orange stuff and maybe I need to get some 34 millimeter trucks now if I'm gonna use this one. Thanks again for watching guys. Hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time.